Building information modeling or BIM is a process that includes uh, creating and administrating uh, digital representations of uh, the physical and functional properties of a building. BIM models uh, contain uh, geometrical data, material information, and they can be enriched by activities, workflows, documents, and uh, other relevant information to the building. Yes, and with BIM, our foundation is laid for a better collaboration between the different uh, stakeholders in a project as well as throughout the lifespan of the building. BIM models can be very large, so it has been crucial for us to implement the technology that makes uh, sure that the users experience a fast solution, even though there are enormous data to be processed. Here we have a model of a building, a hospital in this case. I can choose among several profiles. In this case, I go to the front desk area. I can navigate easily around in this building, both in 3D and in 2D. And I can turn on and off which layers I want to have included in the view. In the BIM Models app, you have an overview of all uh, models in the solution. And uh, these BIM models are delivered using the IFC format. That's the format we use for exchanging these models. It can be uploaded in the document register, so you get the full revision control. And in the BIM setup, you have also the possibility to analyze these IFC files. Because when IFC files are delivered from uh, the various uh, providers, uh, the quality may vary. When the files are processed, a log is created with the errors and deviations from the IFC format rules. And uh, this can then be provided back to the suppliers of these models so that they can do the necessary corrections. And we use various techniques and open standards to uh, validate the models, such as uh, MVD XML. The solution allows for uh, the combination of multiple IFC models into a single model, and they can uh, be split again by creating fragments or uh, sections. Uh, these can then be exported or uh, distributed, for example, to another contractor or supplier uh, involved in the reconstruction of this area. You can also make changes to the model in Omega 365, such as updating the information about the objects. And this information can then be exported back to IFC files. We also support having different scenarios, like here, if I toggle over to this scenario, you can see that we've uh, changed the sofas, for example, and the table, etc. You can link existing images to rooms and objects, and you also have the option to embed 360-degree images into the model, which provide a snapshot of the construction site. This allows you to enter the 360-degree image, like in this case, I can see then how this actually looked like at this point when this image was taken. I can choose the transparency, and here we have the model only, and then I can see here the image. And then you can spot potential issues. In this case, there is a pilot. Uh, it could be that this is uh, something wrong with the physical construction, or it could be something wrong with the model, and these can then be registered directly in the solution. Since the BIM models uh, contains geometric data, you can calculate areas, both net and gross, and perform various other measurements. Uh, the solution also supports integrating point clouds in the model. A central part of the BIM functionality in Omega 365 is how integrated it is with the rest of the solution. Uh, so you can get an overview of uh, documents, workflows, activities and uh, status on these, and uh, you can get uh, risks. Uh, and you can also easily um, register new workflows. Mm. Being able to navigate in a 3D view is uh, naturally very important, but in many cases uh, utilizing 2D can be just as useful. Uh, and based on objects in BIM, Omega 365 automatically generates a 2D view. And uh, these views can be saved as separate views uh, and distributed to other users. And the BIM viewer can also be used on mobile devices, such as an iPad or a mobile phone. And you can navigate around in either 3D or 2D view and easily record new issues and update the status of existing tasks and activities. So this was a short introduction to the BIM functionality in Omega 365. To learn more about Omega 365 BIM and other uh, features, uh, check out omega365.com and our YouTube channel.